Hello! Today I'm gonna be playing War Dogs, and this is how to get your first War Dog. First, you go to Explore, you go to the Waja Park, yes, Waja Park, because I'm nice, you know, I'll just, and then go to the Waja Park entrance, and then you click Explore a bunch of times until you see like a Waja, you know, one of those little doggos, like faded pines. If you see this, you would pet it and it would bond with you. This is what you should that that is what it should say. So you know it's great. That's how you get your first ever Waha. But if it doesn't listen to you, just keep on doing it and doing it and doing it. It's easy. But I didn't know it at first. But 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 uh, there's lots of people who are willing to give away free Wahas because oh, Wahas actually take up space, believe it or not. And you have to freaking upgrade it every single time. And right now, I'm like on like the 30th size of, of the cave. And this one's actually pretty cute. So, you just pet it or like it just leaves or just... Yeah, it's not my water and it went away, even though it was pretty, but that's okay. Uh, so upgraded users have four daily points. Regular users who don't have any upgrades or anything only have two. So you can get four Wahas instead of just two Wahas, so double, and I like it. And you can go to the Waha Park literally like every single day. So you could get like lots of wahas. No. Sorry if this is boring, but this is just like what you have to do. There's not much. Oh yeah, you can also dress up your wahas. It's actually really fun, and you can get lots of stuff. I'm going to explore again, but but clicking the mining cave. But it does take up ten thousand. But um, that's kind of nothing. Like if you actually play the game and like stock up the stonks, it's kind of nothing. But to a new user, it may be something. So go to um go to games and then go to Fisher Waha, and then there you should get like fifty k, forty eight k, something like that. Oh, you can also go to the games and then go to the pop a balloon, but that doesn't really give you much. Like, it usually gives you uh, the items instead of, like, some actual cash. But sometimes when it does give you cash, like, it gives you, like, 100k sometimes. Which is real nice, because <laughs> because if you're, like, a noob, you need them stonks. Anyway, I kind of like this, but, yeah, not really. I don't care. <laughs> so each time that you, like, rescue a waha slash... Yeah. Each time that you, like, uh, bond with a Waha, like, it says, like, the bonded. Oh, sweet. Okay. Then it takes away one daily point. You saw that I had three daily points, and I on now I only have two daily points. But I actually really like that one. It's pretty freaking cool. But another thing about Waha is you can customize them just like jeans in Flight Rising. And that's very sweet. Because sometimes they can be basic, like ultra basic and marking less too. Which is very, well, t most of the time it's pretty boring. Oh, it's Apollo. Hi, Apollo! But Apollo doesn't like me, so they went away. Is there anything else that you'd like to know about Wahans? Please let me know. Oh, another thing. How to breed two Wahas, you must have a female and, and a male. And another thing that you must have, you must have a uh, love pair or an agent love pair. To breed them. And I'll show you how to breed a Waha right after I finish up my daily points. Also, lot slash belly. Oh, pretty cute. Actually, you know what? I'll just do it right now. How to go to your Waha. Scroll down. You see cave. You click cave. Anyway, you can, like, you know, do this. It's pretty easy. And let me just move these flood reject 
<laughs> mood flood reject. Oh, sad. Anyway, so how to breed two wahas. You go to the waha that you want to breed, go to this breed button, and then select a love pair or an ancient love pair. You must have you must have one of these. And then you go down, you go to the group where your uh where your dude will be who wants to breed. So then you click him by click selecting this. And then yes. And then you click breed. And it'll do this. And then you can also like predict the puppers. So this is one. You can predict what they look like. And I also actually have like a few of their pups already. And it'll say that this Waha is now pregnant. There's no fertility. There's no infertility. It's decent. And it takes five days to like uh for or to deliver which is like okay but it's also kind of really annoying let's go to the pear tree approach tree a green leaf approach tree pink leaf oh 15 oh a sweet too expensive too expensive around a mutation Oh, or age pair, small horns. Whoa, mm. pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Do you leave my shop items are yeah, so get the one you can. Dot. So let's go back to explore go to Waha Park and continue getting more Wahals. You hear laughter in the distance. These are actually pretty cool. Would would I recommend reading them? Because it does get boring or just clicking clicking it, clicking it, clicking it, clicking it. And that waha went away, guys. Help him. Oh no, I hatched way too many of these guys. I'll help him. Why not? What jerky points. Dude, no, I'm sorry. If it's not daily points, I'm not interested. It should, it should, daily points. Let's clean it. What a charm necklace purple. Whoa. Anyway, that's going to be it, guys. Bye. And if you need, literally, like, guys, if you need uh, help with Wahas, I'm probably not the person to do it because I've only been playing for one month. But this site does not use HT uh PBC BB code yeah I think that's what it's called BB code um this this uh site uses HTML so yeah thanks for watching bye bye.